Now, you and Whitney Houston co-starred in The Bodyguard together, and like a lot of your films, it took a while to get made. I heard 20 years? It was uh, 15 years. 15 years. You know, I didn't realize in, in Bodyguard when I wanted Whitney to play that that was such a brave move. It didn't seem to me to be very brave at all. I thought she was the cutest girl and she knew how to sing. <laughs> and, um, and I mean, I'm, I'm being sincere. I'm not being kind yeah. of trying to be cute with that. I thought, I thought, this is one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen, and, and we need, a, we need a, a woman that can sing. And she hadn't been in a movie, and what a great way for her to make her, her entrance. And, and so it just seemed like she was the best person. It didn't feel like I was trying to cross ground. I, I, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine anybody didn't want to kiss her. <laughs> but you did break ground with that. I you did really kiss did. Her. No. I mean, I mean, you did kiss her, too. Well, That's right. Um, I, I, don't know that we, I don't know that we did. I, I think that... You know, I remember when Whitney was brought into the movie, there was thought from a script point, should we mention that she's black at some point? Oh. And I thought, no, I don't think so. I think she's just a really good-looking woman. <laughs> and I just think that it really was very simple. Whitney was the best idea for that movie, period.